Welcome to another disused railway explore, the first one of the year, so happy new year. Um, got some assistance with me today, got John from Psychic Spies, uh, YouTube channel and band. So we're just starting off at Seymour Junction, where I left you on my last proper railway explore, um, middle of December it was. And we're going to be heading out, well as far as we can, towards Bolsover. And we maybe have to do it in two sections, we're not quite sure yet, we'll see how far we get. So before we do get started, it's probably just worth mentioning, this is a documentation as of January 2022. Now there are other videos available online of this exact same route that we're doing today, and it's amazing just how much it's changed the landscape in uh, just a couple of years. So here's the route from Railmap Online. So we're starting off at Seymour Junction at the top there. We're going to be crossing under the M1. So we'll pass the former Markham Colliery, the old coal light site, and balsa over colliery and finishing just there what used to be the Dowley Viaduct. Do you know what do you know what those are? Reflectors? Ooh, no. Not quite, not quite. <laughs> I'll show you later on. Ooh. It's quite big that isn't it? When you see them at the side of the side of the lines on a train, you don't Yeah, realise yeah. yeah, how much. Yeah. I remember seeing it actually the other week. I thought it was a fridge. <laughs> yeah. I thought someone's gone to the trouble of carrying a fridge all the way down down that path we've just come down. Is it like the one thing they couldn't like lift off the side kind of like <laughs> Goes like that, perhaps. I'm not totally sure. All right, so that that rubber thing goes underneath the line. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, I've seen a few in situ, and it seems to be what they do. But yeah, this obviously maybe really sort of padding or whatever. Was that ground frame for uh, for something there? Yeah, I don't know. Points signalling something to do with the junction. Yeah, I was thinking the other day, I've uh, get a bit, getting a bit desensitised towards sleepers after coming here because you kind of see a pile of sleepers and <laughs> yeah, it so looks it's quite exciting and and then <laughs> you, you kind of see somewhere somewhere else and you just bypass them without even yeah it's just a it's just another collection of sleepers. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. but now it is uh, it is interesting just to see they've just left these here. So here's the four track wide bridge on the waiting to see more. I'll see if I can get around the other side because that sun's going to be doing and there's no favours today. Let's come down the side of that bridge for a nosey so you can see another little vantage point. Nothing that's a river, I think it's just a pond, but I could be wrong. John's just spotted this down in the in the undergrowth. Got to be quiet. Got a bunch of bird watchers here. Just coming to have a look at this signal post. Being a, a little bit, a bit cautious because of those bird watchers, we don't want to be scattering the wild fowl. But there's, uh, there's some things just sticking out of the water there. It's like signalling, signalling gantries. Ooh. Creep down and have a look. Ooh. Brackets all the way along. We're just trying to figure out where the old signal box was on this side. It was definitely a building. Foundations there, brickwork. Mm. 
We have a drain. It's one of those really, really low sun days. It is only about 10 a.m. today. We've just seen these foundations. I'm not sure if these were related to the signal box or not. Lots of lots of cable in the pipes coming up, so could possibly be. Yes. This is just where John were explaining earlier where these plastic things sat. We can see them still in place, and these these sleepers number in as well. Sleepers again from the from the junction, so we must be getting close to the part now where that like Clown Branch and Oxcroft Branch um, separate off from um, from the Volsover Branch. I'd be referred to it as the Volsover Branch. Um, I think originally it was called Dolee Dolee Branch. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And then and then for a time, because I think some of the collieries closed one by one, it only went as far as Glackwell. So it was for about 20, 30 years. It was known as the Glackwell Branch. A bit further down into the woods, just close to, um, yeah, close to the to the Bolsover Branch turn off. Yet more. These look like they've been here a bit longer. It's going off into the trees, as far as you can see. Just wooden sleepers. We're just trying to uh, check off the beaten track a bit more see if there's anything else that's turning up apart from old railway sleepers but seems to be sleepers of the order of the day at the minute so we've come across that old air raid shelter and um, we've just been joking be careful of that nice little surprise we've just been joking that, that we're not going to lock in for it because it's like a needle in an haystack and we've just come we've only come down i can't believe i've walked past this a few times to be honest i've never uh, never noticed but it's it's quite well concealed in brambles and things isn't it are you brave enough to go in i haven't got a i haven't got any lighting these metal things. They never see me again, won't you? <laughs> Oop. Oop. Hey. Getting stabbed. It's alright. Try and hold the camera and hold on to the sides with one one up. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, like with any way you go in, start with the GoPro. Oh, yeah, that's no good. You might as well just wave it in a behind a black curtain. It's not big as fuck. It's like it's like the anti Tardis. It's uh, it looks bigger from the outside than it does from the inside, doesn't it? I can't see where that air hole is, but it's so well covered up and overgrown now from the outside. That was a we weren't looking for that. It was just a nice little bonus to come across. It's weird because it almost has a shape to it. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Strange. Right, so we're on the branch now. We've we've branched off from the main, well, from the clown, the clown line. Again, all the sleepers in situ. Can't believe how long these sleepers go on for. So, 
I'm, I've read up on this and I can't remember now. I always wish I write these things down, but when, when this when this line's been out of use, so it, was it the early 2000s, it was still in use as far as the um, coal light. I think it's about middle, uh, middle 2000s. Yeah, 2004, 2005. I've got an OS map in my backpack, which is dated 2005, and that's actually got the line still on. It must have been dismantled just like that. It's like we've got a, some old foundations from an old signal. Just having a look, see if there's anything round about. Doesn't look like there is. But we've also got entangled up. It's like we've got an old piece of track here. I'll come round the other side just so the sun's not ruining the shot. Just a little short section. Just gotta be careful. Lots of things to trip over down here. 1970. Is that the 78, is it? 70. Still can't believe we've still got the, the lines of sleepers. Yeah, it's All the way. It's the amount of stuff that's that's left down here. 66. 67. Oh that's definitely an eight. That one, yeah. Maybe you were right, yeah. 78. 66. So we're at the side of the road from Poolsbrook to Junction 29. A little bit of track down here. Look at that. I knew this used to be. I didn't know if it was still here though. I drive on that road so much. I've never seen this. I wonder why they've just left this short yeah, why just leave it yeah, 10 yard section strange especially it's probably the easiest bit to remove yeah, yeah. next to the road as well 350 on a friday yeah <laughs> right that's it for me. <laughs> so we, we we lost the trap bed for a very short distance while we crossed that new road just after that little section of line that had been abandoned in the woods there so we're heading up now into the sun about to cross under the M1 so we can see there's been quite a lot of earth dumped onto the trap bed in front so to see how far we can get I think this section's changing so much year on year as well I've had so many different conflicting reports of access and things so here's where it gets interesting somewhere in that sun is a big mound of dirt so what do you reckon is the best way over round over <laughs> over it's the old plate layers up just by the side of the m1 yeah i don't think we're going inside that one are we So it's up and down over these mounds of earth, but you can see the plate layers up down on the bottom there. Nice view of the M1. So we're getting into the area now where you're doing all the reclamation work. Um, we're getting into the sun, apologies. But yeah, it's coming into now. This will be the entrance to, uh, to Mark and Colliery. So yeah, this is around the, the point now where we would have had the lines going off into Markham Colliery, around about where, where we've got the junction. So we've got we've got sleepers back buried under here, ballast. So there's a there's a sleeper there. Plenty of sleepers took down the side as well we can see. So I've just come across come across the bridge. So this is the bridge that would have been a double bridge. Quite poor state of, state of repair as well. But yeah, we've still got the sleepers down all the way. Getting a little break from the, the sun. Unfortunately, that just means it's dark. Got a little building over the other side of the river there. 
little either way for somebody. Yeah, we've got this structure, it's on the side of the line, it's on the side of the River Dole as well. I'm not quite sure what it is, it's got something sticking up there. Just by that little bridge, it didn't go anywhere. Alright, there's another one here. Right, that used to be, so that's got a ladder on there. Oh, uh, right, so it's just signal. Only fit, yeah, signal, signal gantry. Was there any junction or anything here? Let's get another view of the bottom of that ladder. It's not in the sun. So we've not yet got to the, the, the site of the old coal light plant, but there's plenty of things to see. There's, look at that, the size of that. I've never seen one with that many, what are them things called? Arms? Oh yeah, arms. Yeah, yeah, arms. I've never seen one with that many arms. There's posts all the way along the trap bed for the last mile or so. Another telegraph pole there that's uh, sadly died, just laying on its side. But they're uh, yeah, quite frequent these along the track so far, aren't they? So are they porcelain, you say? I think they are porcelain, yeah. So surprisingly worth a bit. Look at the burn marks on them. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Jeez, look. Loads of stuff on its side. More, more. It's a full arm there. Look at that. One lay down. This is really nice. I will keep this here, but that is, awesome. is that two? There's two. Is there two telegraph poles there? There isn't there. Yeah, there is, yeah, yeah. I'm assuming we're near some water because there's a um, buoyancy aid just behind there. <laughs> Curious. I'm not so another hut, red brick one this time. So we're not too far off, if not near into where tracks are to start to go off now, into um, to the various yards and coal light. Things in there. Again, it's a bit overgrown on the on the entry. I don't think we're going to make his way inside. So it's still fairly easy going so far. We've uh, got further than I thought. So we did have a fence at some stage that's uh, uh, no longer blocking access beneath this bridge. So we'll we'll plow on. We'll keep going as far as we can get. So we're not too far off. We built uh, Buttermilk Lane. Let's see. See the houses there, see Bolsover appearing in the distance. So we're right at the entrance now to Coal Light. It's really industrial smell in the air. I've read some things about this place and the smell, complaints from the locals of the smell. And uh, yeah, it's really noticeable, even with my dodgy nose. So here are some overhead Google Maps shots of the Coal Light Works. So since these Google Maps images were captured, there's been massive changes to the site. So this is going to be the area that we'll see in the next uh, the next few minutes of the, the biggest impacts of that reclamation work. So the Colite Bolsover plant opened in the 1930s and it closed around 2004, I believe. But what it left behind was, uh, was a massively contaminated area. And in its heyday, it uh, resulted in the River Dolly that runs next to the plant being one of the most polluted in Europe. So there's the entrance to uh, to Coal Light. Um, don't fancy going in there, to be honest. I know there are videos of people who've had a look around there. Interesting to see the old photographs, but it's mostly been flattened now. There's nothing in there that's piquing my interest anyway. And uh, and the smell is really overpowering. So we're just on the approach to Buttermilk Lane. So we're right in the heart of that old Coal Light complex now. And it does look like the work that's been going on, this has been, the cutting's been filled in. Well, I don't think it was a cutting at one time, but yeah, this has been raised and flattened. There's no bridge now. That that bridge at Buttermilk Lanes is no longer exists from what I can see. I don't know if we'll be able to get back on the railway trap bed, so I'll have a trip up to the trip up to the road and see what the situation is. 
So even in the last year, th this road was closed most of this year and, and it's changed so much. It's just recently reopened. It's a brand new road, looks like it's been realigned to be honest. Um, new roundabout there. It's going up there back towards um, Duckminton, is it? Ark right. So apologies for the, the bit of wind that we've got, we're in, in the open, but we're stood looking right where the um, the old bridges on Buttermilk Lane. So there were two bridges side by side, one for the road and then like an internal road for the, the chemical works. And as you can see, the bridge has been filled in now. This whole area has been landscaped over. The railway's been erased, basically. So yeah, bridges have gone sadly. It's a really confusing section this, so we there's no fences, we've just wandered in off the road, across the mud and the fields. Bit of an obstacle course in places, but there's little bits of fences there, where at some stage there's been, obviously, restricting access onto the railway. A lot of it's been taken up, but we're still, we're still cracking on. We've got a lot further than I thought we would. We're not far off Bolsover now. It's a bit more overgrown this bit. I don't think many people are walking this way. It's like there's an old drain cover here. Sticking out from the ballast. Look at that. I don't know if it's not radioactive. <laughs> but maybe, yeah, something with an insulator on there. So just, just, been, just been piled up. And this big piece of... Um, so yeah, amazing what could be buried under here. So the landscape of this bit we're on is vastly different now. It's just been flattened. But look at that little bridge it's on the right hand side. Just one side of a bridge. So I'll have a look what went over that. So we're just looking back where we've come from. As you can see, we're not really walking on a, a disused railway at the moment. But there are these little clues every now and then. Like the little telegraph poles just let us know that we're on we're still on the right the right track because straight in front and I hope we can get over this mound of earth so this is the area south of buttermilk lane so just highlighted there where we've just been walking again vastly different landscape to when these aerial images were captured but we're just coming up to that track work at the bottom there that's uh, that served these uh, extensive yards but just take note there of that grey line that dissects the screen from uh, bottom to top. That was the intended route of the HS2 line, the eastern leg, which is uh, now no longer happening. So we're dropping into start section to Bolsover, into Bolsover. As you can see, this I mean this has changed in the last few years from other things that I've seen around. But here's that here's that three-way point. It looks like the rest of it going off. Into, uh, into those sidings there which is vastly different today and that's been covered up so we've just got the start of this point connector rods excellent so if I remember rightly if I've got my bearings right the three that three way point it was just there as we went into the yard. Amazing, we've just walked across there. Nothing to stop us. It obviously wasn't a way, a way through and just drop out here. This old track. Amazing. through the trees it's overgrown now again sorry about the sun so we were just wondering if those old lampposts were still buried under here somewhere because this is very this is all very recent what's happened here we can see some something there I don't know if that's just pipe something bent just discarded at the side there but we're stood right on top now aware that that three uh, three-way point was unusual unusual contraption 
but yeah just changed so much in the last the last year or two this place it's a shame in a way in a few years time this is just all going to be industrial units distribution parks all that sort of thing connect it again weighs a ton always amazes me however these these little things are mm -hmm. line of signal posts um signal wire cable postings So this is this is Station Road. So this is the main road up from um, from Duckman Turn, M1 Junction 29A up to up to Balsover. So that last section there, just from that set of points, probably been the toughest going. A lot of uh, a lot of brambles and things probably helps with the time of year, but. Yeah, I don't think you get through here in summer easily. But we're just on the site now. We've just come under Station Road. So, big clue there. We had um, Bolsover Castle Station just here. It's done this on side. Nothing left of it. It's been demolished in the 1970s, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, I think it's close to regular passenger trains in about 1930, if memory serves me correctly. Just looking through there. See if there's any evidence of a platform or anything. I don't think so. So I was looking at the photos from this and, and you could literally just, in isolation, just it was it looked so much like the uh, the old station building at Clown, Clown and Balbury. That same that same design, obviously it's the same same railway company, built around the same time, Midland Railway. So we're not far, we're not far now from the end, end of the line that we're going to see today. Look at the concrete things down there. So it's just literally just uh, 100 yards or so I think turns into what's called the Stockley Trail. Where you can go on towards Glapwell even further, so I've run that quite a few times. But we do have, I was seeing some old uh, photographs of the, uh, the balsa over colliery tramway horse-drawn tramway that ran from the colliery just just over there ran down parallel with the railway here and then crossed over uh, and the old tramway went up into the uh, into the new model village that's just just on the side going up to balsa over castle so i believe we might be able to see some evidence of that old bridge from that tramway just a little further up so here's a map of that old tramway from the colliery down at the bottom right hand side there is the new Bolsover model village. Here's a close up of the bridge that crosses over our railway line so we'll get a look at that bridge in a moment. But I just wanted to point you in the direction of this website uh, oldminer.co.uk I'll leave the link in the description. But it's a great resource for old colliery information and we can see a couple of pictures of, uh, of our tramway there. So here's the uh, here's the abutments for that bridge. I can't get any closer though. It's a bit of a bit of a dike there. But yeah, we've got this on both sides. It's quite a wide. See all the way over there. It's quite a wide span. That was that one big span for something of its age. That's uh, that's quite a quite a width. Again. Got a, Bit of water there stopping us getting any closer to that one. But yeah, I understand that's where the little uh, little horse-drawn tramway came across. Right, so we're at the end of our railway walk today. That's been a fascinating explore. A little culvert to show you there. We've kind of lost the, the trap bed now, to be honest. But yeah, we're at the end of the Stockley Trail, so this is the, the bit now where the Dole Viaduct, the LDECR, would have uh, this huge imposing viaduct. You'd never, you'd never know now, would you? There was a railway line and a viaduct going over this section.
Right, so that's it. That's the end of the video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Thanks to John for coming along and keeping me company, listening to my uh, ramblings today. Um, so, as with always when I do this, I, I walk for miles and I get to the end and then it's like, oh, I've got to walk back home now. So we're just trying to find a better way back, back to where we've parked down at Pools Brook. So, thanks again. Um, and uh, we'll catch up with you again on another video soon. Bye.